first, I'll create a user who's going to own the application. Create user apps identified by apps. And I'm going to give him lots of privileges. Grant all privileges to apps. This is a common security model. It's basically what's used, for example, in Oracle eBusiness Suite, an application owner who is all powerful. Now I'll create a table in the schema. Any table will do. Create table apps.t1 as select star from all users. Now create my user. He's the relatively low privileged developer who will hack the system. Create user JW identified by JW. And the privileges I'll give him, create session, create any index, create procedure. So he can create procedures in his own schema and indexes on the application tables. That might be reasonable for a developer. And now, as my low privileged user, I'll do the hack. Connect as JW and create a function that will inject my SQL. Let's walk through the code. Create a replace function f1. My function takes a parameter, p1 number, and returns it straight back. But in between, it has to be a deterministic function because I'm going to use it as an index key. And it has to run with the invoker's rights so that I can escalate my privileges to those of the invoker. Because what I'm going to do is execute immediate grant DBA to JW. First, a quick check. Let's confirm the privileges I have at the moment. I have no roles at all. And if I attempt to set a role, set role DBA, of course I can't do it. Maybe I can. I'll grant execute on F1 to public. And now use my function in a function based index. Create index apps.hackI on apps.t1 and invoke my function within that. And what's happened now? Set role DBA? Well, I never. It's worked. Select star from session roles, and I've got the lot. So just being able to create an index has let me escalate my privileges to DBA status.